So we spent the day in Congress today going to progressive Democratic offices that either haven't spoken out on the issue of the slaughter and the famine in Gaza, like Jasmine Crockett, or have been pretty good on the issue but will not promise us that they will not vote for any bill that contains military weapons going to Israel. We're in the office of Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett, who is from Texas, and she is one great Congresswoman when it comes to supporting women's rights, the rights of the gay community, um, the rights of, of children. Yet when it comes to the issue of all the women and children who are being killed and starved in Gaza, we don't hear her voice. So we were just very concerned about that. We saw a tweet that she put out two days ago about who is going to stand up for whom, right? And she said, first they came for women and I don't care. Then they came for the LGBTQIA and I didn't care. Then they came for students and I didn't care. Then they came for black folk and I didn't care. And then they came for me. You see how this works, she asked? All of our freedoms are on the line. So I think given that tweet that she put out, we should be asking her, why isn't she standing up for the women of Gaza? Why isn't she standing up for the children of Gaza? Why isn't she t standing up for the doctors in Gaza? For the journalists in Gaza? For the academics whose universities have been blown up? Why isn't she standing up for the people who are facing famine right now? Four out of five hungry people in the world are in Gaza. We have to, to emphasize that it's a forced famine. You know, it's not a natural occurrence. This is an intentionally starving the population of Gaza. Most Americans want there to be a ceasefire. We're ashamed that our money is being used to kill and starve the population of Gaza. And so we really are here to say that we need her to call for an immediate ceasefire, no money to Israel, and fund UNRWA have a heart for the people of Gaza. Leave a positive legacy, Congresswoman Crockett. We're counting on you.